So maybe this will be a real quick recording. I was just realizing that um, similar to those of you that might not want a shape around your icons, I should probably show you that for these as well. It's it's a fairly simple thing. So the last recording I made them bigger and to get rid of the outlines we're also going to have to do that in the uh, HTML. So we have the the A has a class here. If If we just are a little bit sneaky and uh, take out parts of the class. I think we leave in which we have our button dark. So we want to leave in the button. Well, the button dark is giving us the background color. Mm, I guess we'll have to experiment with different things. So in this first one I'll take out button dark and button social and the size thing. The second one I'll take out these and the third one I'll leave it alone. Let's see what that does. Okay. So taking out the button dark gets rid of the whole box but it also get, gets rid of the coloring that we had on the uh, link there. It's still a link. Getting rid of the button social uh, got rid of the, um, the size and made it a default button style based on its size because our, our button social made the uh, smaller thing. So if, if we wanted this to still uh, change colors, we would probably the easiest way would be to add in um, into the color thing here, what it does in the in the normal and in the hover versions of it is just another thing, but we'd need a new name for it, and that would be um, whew, let's button dash icon. That sounds like a good name. And I'm going to get rid of these two things here that are kind of messing me up. And I'm going to add comma button dash icon here. And on this one, oops, I already had a comma. Make sure you add in the hover state. Oh, what did I? I didn't save the HTML one. Um, let's try another experiment. Get rid of button. Oh, almost. What am I missing? Oh. <sighs> it does the um the background. I would have to do my own unique styles for those then. Okay, button icon gets a style where by default the color is what we had for the background color and when we hover over it we get our other color take it out of these where we just put it. There we go. So that way they act uh, more like the buttons that we had. So I am getting kind of a weird um, size difference and what we had before the button social class helped us keep them in line together. So I wonder if I can add that social class back in. So you can see it down here, this button social 
interesting that it doesn't really need the button thing anymore. So let's try putting the button social class back in. I'd have to put them into all of them again to make sure that it's... That's going to put the box around it again, isn't it? No, it didn't. Okay, that's better. So it's they're aligned again because it's taking advantage of the... Um, the... where is it? The alignment function of the button social class. It's the parent box. No, where is it hiding? Anyway, I'm pretty so it but that shows that if you have the button social class in it. So the difference between mine and the other ones, um, I made a new thing that's different from button dark, because button dark gives it a uh, background shape. Let's see what happens if we add back in the MX2. Nothing. It just does a spacing thing. So now they're spaced out like the other ones were, whether we want that or not. So get rid of the MX2 and that would fix it. So uh, hopefully that gives you another option that uh, you can have them without the shapes. And uh, Sometimes I like this better than containing shapes. So we changed it to squares or you can change it to no shapes. And again if I wanted this one to be uh, my dark color, I would just need to make sure that I am not doing FA inverse, uh, but instead choose like that, maybe even that new style that I just did, the um, button icon style. Let's go to that up at the top. Where are we? E commerce. So I had hid, I had hid in the circle. FAS, FA brain, FA stack, FA inverse. That's giving me the um, the lighter color. So instead, instead, sorry, let's do um, just to be quick since we just created that button icon class. And that lets me have it, and it lets me also do a, a hover, which I don't really need because it's not a button. You see my cursor is not changing to the hand. Uh, so I could do um, dark icon class and then add dot dark icon. That way I get the benefit of the keeping my colors for my button icons and my dark icons the same, but I, I'm not doing a hover version for it. So that way it's not going to change colors when I hover over it. I like that. That's a pretty good solution.